Hey everybody, welcome to another beautiful day, another Not Thursday in New Hampshire. Well, today's objective, uh, heading out to the camp. It's uh, one of those days for us that always happens. No precipitation in the forecast, yet it's lightly misting. It's been doing it for hours. I actually waited to come out, but at this point, I'm not waiting any longer. So let's head over to the camp, make sure everything's still standing, and uh, I'll let you know what it is that I plan to do. This log at some point needs to go, although it kind of looks cool, but still needs to go. So we're essentially right there. You've seen this a million times. Big tree down. My brush pile is slowly getting smaller and I'm cleaning up the banks to where the camp is. That basically from that big pine over here was all just, I had been throwing brush off the trail into there and I'm slowly clearing it. I want to get rid of all that. Or at least most of it, this tree, this pine, that has been a good piece of timber. That's what the log bench came out of and there is at least 20 feet more of it that's usable. So I'm gonna dig this out. I'm going to pull out as much small, firm brush as I can for refinements uh, in what I've already built today and collect timber as I clean and then see what it's usable for. I'm gonna get most of this small brush down into there where it's wet so it can recompose itself to soil. And that's the plan. We got some clearance. Look at this. Nice and free. Man, this stuff really tears you up. But look now. We got some more clean space. And the shoulder to the camp will be clean. That is the lot of usable stuff that I pulled out of that entire pile. Everything else is just rotted. So how I've managed to get the ground so clean out here is, if you guys have been watching my videos for some time on this channel or the other one, uh, I've shown you guys this before, these foldable rakes. I've kept one in my vehicle for, God, almost a decade. Uh, surprisingly, they hold up and they don't take up much space and they do a terrific job. So, I'm gonna get this clean and get that wood back to the camp, which is right there, nicely. See if I can extract that log. This is the way I like to move brush. Use all the branches intertwined with it to your advantage. I learned this landscaping years ago. Instead of straining yourself with a uh, rake, just roll it up like a tumbleweed with your hands. Then refine it later with the rake.
There we go, nice and clean. I can get that log out of the way. And let's flash back to see what this pile looked like last week. So yeah, nothing like moving the same amount of crap twice, right? But I didn't know I was gonna go this far, so. All right. You're asking why I'm dragging it uphill. I'm just grabbing it uh, or pulling it so I can cut it here like I did the other day because that worked out really well. This is definitely gonna be a second bench and then maybe we'll use that for a support beam at some point in the process. It was totally worth cleaning this pile to get this out because as you guys have seen in the last few videos it's been difficult to get timber without you know cutting anything that's still standing I want to keep everything that's living out here up so this is the way we're gonna do it as long as we can Now we can properly scrub the floor. Well, there we go. Here's the trail. Essentially, we have done several things. We've gained 16 feet of shoulder, cleaned up the brush, got some timber out of it, and we got a nice shoulder going down to the camp. So, my thought is, I want that and I want it over at the camp. That would make a lovely seat and a support for uh, the larger structure to come. So I'm gonna have to think on that one for a few. Well, it's like an hour later. I got involved, forgot to film. Well, I knew I'd get this done quicker if I wasn't filming, but I dug all this out. This was the, I showed you this, uh, heading towards the camp, the shoulder. It was that deep because I kept throwing brush in here, but I wanted to get it out so it's aesthetically pleasing. You know, as that shoulder was looking so good, I figured it would clean the entire thing. Uh, next, I'm gonna move my timber away into a pile. So what I did was, uh, being that the ground down here is mushy, I took all the leaf, that I dragged back and I covered the brush. So all the branches and stuff I pulled out of the pile are neatly under all the leaf cover. So even though it's mushy, it gives a much better appearance of, you know, more land, I don't know. This isn't a survival situation. This isn't, uh, this isn't anything more than building for the enjoyment of building and having a nice place to hang out. I don't plan on sleeping back here. Well, maybe we'll do that, but I don't plan on living back here. So, I just want it to be nice. I want all my trails to be nice and clean, and I want the hangout spot around the camp 
to be pretty. So let me move my my haul of good timber over to there. And uh, that's right. See, this is what happens. I forgot about the, uh, the log for the bench. But that is exactly what happens when you start doing projects, especially cleaning. It's addictive. Oh, this looks good. And then you get to a certain point, and you're like, well, I just can't leave it there. And you end up cleaning everything, but that's all right. And me, I like organization. And uh, continue to work down here. This is generally where I've been cleaning wood and cutting it anyways. That's it for the big stuff. See what I'm saying about the live stuff? This thing has been nothing but in the way, moving around. I don't want to cut it. So what I'm doing with the smaller brush that I pulled out of that pile is filling in this wall, this blind. Hopefully I can tighten it up a bit visually and I guess structurally but there we go each little piece will fit somewhere all right so I filled in that blind up another six inches with the brush out of the pile now over to there to see if we can move something so the big trail tree. This is the upper end of it. Oh, good. It was broken. I was hoping it wasn't going to be submerged. That will come in handy. more of this stuff. Uh, wonderful. Beautiful. I'll just secure it. And we got another bench. Well that worked out, right? I was wondering how I was gonna lift it. Fortunately, that piece was free, and then there's a place for a drink right there. So fussing around with it a bit, I was going to corner it off, kind of like that one, but I'm going to rest it closer to the wall, because that's comfortable. I went and got me some timber so I can stake it. And I'll tell you what a difference. This uh, piece of wood is basically the extension of that bench. This just has the round top. And compared to sitting on this, which I hewed, uh, what a huge difference. So I'm going to have to do the same with that. I was going to leave it natural, but that is a lot more comfortable. to go down right to where the blade is flush go every six or eight inches then we can take that top off so if you're wondering that took about 30 minutes 
once you have at it and just start ripping into that bark, getting you know the front edge off, then it's just a matter of refining it, taking off the edges and making it level. All right, let's get it over there. Oh, much better. What a difference taking an inch off the top of that does. Decent. Snug. Beautiful. Well, that's all I got for today. Second bench accomplished and then a whole bunch of other stuff. All right, so here's the thought. I wanted to get this week uh, a series of videos so we have a, you know, a good palette to work with here. We have a real good start. We have some clean ground. It is completely usable at this point, four days. And uh, that's taken into consideration. All the ground I've cleaned, the lumber I have collected, even up on the hillside there, a lot of the brush came out of there, so it was just general cleaning. But it's looking really good out here. So what I'll do moving forward is with not Thursday videos. I'm going to continue to do the other things I like to do. We'll get out, do some metal detecting and exploring, and maybe we'll find some cool places to visit. And then as we go through the season, I'll pop in here for episodes uh, when I have a project or something that I think of that I want to do that we can make a video out of. And we will watch this grow over the season. The guys are anxious to get involved. I'm sure they've got things that they want to build out here, so it's going to be a lot of fun and it'll carry us on through the winter. Which hopefully will not be here anytime soon. All right, everybody, see y'all soon. Till next time, enjoy your not Thursday. <laughs>